fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today with my latest budget haul from Amazon. Uh, we all know that I love to shop on Amazon because I live rurally and I periodically will go out and just look for inexpensive diamond paintings that I can find. Now it can be hit or miss but I will say uh, for all of the paintings that I have bought from Amazon really I've only had issues with one or two. My hot air balloon, I ran out of some drills, but I had spares, so it was fine. And then of course my hula can that I actually bought through Amazon was not great. If you haven't seen that experience, I will stick a link to it up there. Um, but other than that, I, I, they've all been fine. So I have, uh, five paintings to share with you today. So this is how they came. I'm not sure which ones are which, so I'm just going to dig in and I'm going to dig into this one first since it seems to be the easiest one. This says it's a 35 by 35, so we'll see when we measure it. Now this is a cute one. I don't remember the names of the companies. Uh, but I will, as always, stick links in the description down below so that you can check these out for yourself. We do get some uh, instructions, so that's nice. Uh, drills, round kit. Oh, it does have DMC codes on the drill, so that's good. And here we go. It's just this cute little fox. There's a little bird and some trees, a little fox in the meadow. Um, 36 colors, which is a lot for this size of painting. So let's see, 35 by 35 it says. Let's see what size the drill field is. It is a little over 30 by 30. So approximately 30 by 30 drill field size. 36 colors, wow, that's a lot. Now looking for this size, looking at the symbols, it is nice and sticky. Looking at the symbols, I don't, let me bring it up a little bit closer so you guys can see. I don't see anything that I think would give me issues. Um, it does have guide circles around the N, which is the white, and these eyes, which are more of the background. Some of those, I mean, it's got guide circles, everything, but some of them are gonna get hidden once you place the drills. So guide circles are not my favorite, but guide circles or training wheels as some people call them, but uh, still a pretty nice kit for, this was only $5.99, you guys. So 36 colors. Let's dig into the drills here and see what we got. Okay, let me pull the drills out. So we get our kit a boat, a big plate of wax, a pink pin, and then it does have baggies on the back, so that's good. And then our 36 colors, which is crazy to me. So let me just grab it in here and we'll start looking. So, actually these drills look pretty good. I don't even see dimples really on the bottom. So those look pretty good. So we've got this blue, like a baby pink, a little bit, darker light blue, kind of a tan peachy color, like a sea mint green, a green, then kind of a lime green, a very pale yellow, kind of an ochre brown, and a light blue. And then we have white, a lot of white, which is not unexpected because there's a lot of white in the background. We've got a, a light brown, a brown, kind of a, a pale golden yellow, a golden yellow, and then this kind of orangey brown. And then we still have all these colors. So we have a light gray, very pale green, a, a very light blue, a dark brown, a red, like a forest green, 
a light green, a, kind of a bubblegum pink, and then two different shades of kind of mint green almost. This one and then this one is a bit lighter. And then there's a third, another sleeve, you guys. Oh my goodness, there's so many colors. So this is black. So that's all the black that's in this kit. It's kind of a dark coral, kind of an orange color, a mocha, a gray, a very light gray, a very light tan, a yellow, another kind of golden yellow, a peach color, and then a darker peach color. So yeah, I can't believe how many colors are in this kit for the size of it. That's kind of crazy. So let me figure out how to fold all these back up if I can. So yeah, so there's the first one. And again, it was $5.99. And again, I will put links in the description below so that you guys can check these out for yourself. Let me just move all of this out of the way because I'm not going to get it back in the package while I'm on film. Okay, that's part of that package as well. Okay, so that's the first one. And then the second one, and like I said, I don't know what's in these. I didn't open any of these beforehand. Oh, this is the one that has two. So one of the ones that I ordered had two kits in it. So these were both together, the kit together, this one box was $9.99. But it is supposed to be two kits by Leonardo da Vinci. So it's art by da Vinci. If I can figure out how to get in this one. Okay, there we go. These are in there pretty tight. It's going to be fun trying to get those back in there. Okay. So let me, ooh, this canvas is nice and soft to roll the other way. Love that already. Okay. So we get a boat, two plates of wax, wax a pink pin. It does come with, what is that, a 10 multi-placer? So that's nice. And drills, let's see. Ooh, it does have the DMC codes on the drill, so that's good. And here is the painting. Now, I don't know what this one is called. It was not instantly recognizable to me like the other one that I will show you in a minute, but two kits by Da Vinci. Let's see, nice and sticky, 24 colors. Now, this one has a lot of black. The whole background is black. And then just, you know, her kind of coming out of the shadows. So, Let's see, um, it says it is a 30 by 40, so let's measure. It is 24 by 34. We do have a schematic on both sides. It does have the DMC codes on the painting, which is nice. Uh, okay, so let me see this one. So $9.99 for both of these. So this one was, what, $4 and some change, as was the other one. So lots of dark colors in this one. So let's see what they're like. Love that they come in these big bags. Okay, so let's look at the drills here. Wow, I don't see, oh, it's got some dimples, but not very many. So there's just a little bit of white, off-white, a very light brown, kind of a lighter brown, like a chocolate brown, a peach, a very dark gray, a dark peach, a lighter peach, a very pale peach. That's almost like a mauve color, like a brick red. Get the rest of these here. There's another peach color, a very dark brick red, a dark brown, a dark blue, another dark brown, another peach, sensing a theme here, a dark gray, kind of a, a reddish brown, and then a gray. 
So there's those, and then this must be mostly our blacks. So it's another kind of pinky peach color. That's a very dark purple. Another brick red. And then we have one, two, three, four bags of 310, which actually isn't that much considering how many, how much of the background is black. So let's see if I can fold these all back up and get them back in there. Okay. Nope, those aren't going to go back in there either. I've got to work on folding those up better. Okay, so there's those. And then the second one in here, guys, I love doing this. I love shopping on Amazon for these inexpensive kits because I feel like I'm getting such a bargain, you know? Okay, and then this one, as you probably saw, ooh, again, these canvases are nice and soft, not... I mean, they're, they're still kind of the burlapy feel to them, but they're not stiff like some of the ones you get are. So same thing, we've still got DMC codes on our drill, so that's good. Boat, two plates of wax, a pink pin, again with the tin multi-placer and baggies. So that's good. And then we have, of course, the Mona Lisa. So, ooh, I might save one of these because, uh, I saw that Diamonds and Washi and Tiny Worlds of Wonder are going to be doing Summer with the Masters again, and I loved that one. I would like to get a bigger painting. I'm actually thinking of getting another Kandinsky to do, but these would fit and they would be smaller so I could participate without having to do something huge. Ooh, or I could use my Mooka that I got from Diamond Painting Shop for that. I'll have to give it some thought and figure out which one I want to do, or if I want to do multiple ones. Okay, so I'm getting ahead of myself here. We have a schematic on both sides. It does have the DMC codes on here. Again, this is a 30 by 40. So let's measure. It is 24, I'm gonna guess by 34 like the other one. Yep, 24 by 34. Now again, both of these together were 9.99. So four and some change for each one of these. I don't know if you can buy them separately. I didn't look at that. I just saw the kit and thought, huh, these would be good for something like Summer with the Masters. So, okay, so let's look at these drills. Again, I see some dimples, but they're not terrible. And I don't see a lot of trash. So we've got like a olive green, kind of a mustard color, a golden yellow, a pale yellow, kind of a reddish brown, an olive green and like a chocolate brown. And then we have just like a, it's almost, I want to say it's a yellow, but it's like a very kind of brownish peach. A tan, there's a yellow, it's a paler yellow, brighter yellow. And then, ooh, is this all? One, two, three, four bags of 3371. And then we get some light green, a very pale yellow, a slightly less pale yellow, a dark brown, kind of a mustardy green. There's a, like a mocha color. Is an, kind of an orangey brown, a little darker color. Are those two the same? Surely not. No, one's 781 and one's 782. So varying shades of a brown there. Brown, a pale, pale leaf peach, and then a yellow. So yeah, again, tons of colors. 24 colors, so not as many in this one as we're, no, they both have 24 colors. I started to say they didn't have the same amount, but they do. Both have 24 colors. So let's see if I can get these back in here really quick because I'm gonna start getting confused on which ones are which if I don't start putting them back in bags. Can I unfold that one? Yes, okay. 
I try to do some of this crinkling off camera so you guys don't have to listen to it, but I'm afraid I'm going to start getting confused which ones go with which because they're kind of a lot of the same colors. So, okay. So there's the Mona Lisa. And then I still have two to go, you guys. My goodness. Okay. Let me move this over here. And then we have this lovely box. And I looked around the box. It did not say on the boxes what they were. And I didn't want to open them until I was ready to show them to you guys. So, oh yes, I thought this one was funny. I'm actually may hang this one up in my house. Ooh, this canvas is super soft. Easy to roll and super soft. So you can see the image there. It is half American flag, half Canadian flag, which I thought was hilarious for our household. So in your kit, wow, this is a nice kit. You get a white boat instead of the green one, a large plate of wax, two pens, and one has a four placer, one has a 10 placer on it, looks like, and then some baggies. So a nice kit. And it looks like it has an inventory sheet. So here is the canvas. Now, Again, it's, you know, pretty simple. It has guide circles, not my favorite thing, but that's okay. Uh, only, it doesn't even count the colors for me. One, two, three, four, five, six colors, as to be expected. Red, white, blue, and then a couple of shades uh, for shadows. Now, this one was $4.90, and it says 40 by 30, so let's look at the drill field size. It is 34 by 24 so 34 by 24 but yeah I just thought this was going to be funny for our family and also because it's such big color blocking sections I thought it would be a good um, practice canvas for me to practice on for multi-placing I am determined to get the hang of multi-placing with bigger than a four because I do a lot of diamond painting, but in order to kind of keep up with content for the channel, I need to get faster at it. Okay, so already not my favorite thing because it comes in these little bags. We all know I hate these bags, but that's okay. So I do have an inventory sheet. It does have instructions if you don't know how to diamond paint. And it's got an inventory. So 16 packs of white. Um two packs of a shade that looks like a blue shade, seven packs of a red, 19 packs of the true red, and one pack of 791, 10 packs of the blue for the star field. So let's look at these drills. So they do have some dimples, but I don't see a lot of trash in them, so that's good. So we've got this blue, We've got this red. We've got, of course, a whole bunch of white. We've got a bunch of this red. And then we've got this kind of shaded blue and this kind of darker blue shade. So. I will inventory all of this later so that you guys don't have to watch me do that because it's boring. So I will do that later. But yeah, I just thought this one was going to be funny for our family, given that my husband is Canadian and we're U.S. I mean, my husband's a dual citizen now, so that just makes it even funnier in my opinion. So, and again, I, I thought it would help me practice my multi-placing. So there's that one. And then this last one is another one that I probably could use for Summer with the Masters if I wanted to. So let me roll this one. This one is soft, but it's not as soft as the flag ones were. It's about as soft as the two Da Vinci's. So, okay. So let's look at our kit. We get a boat, a plate of wax, a, a pen, and it has a tin placer on it. So that's a nice kit. What do I do with the kit for that one? Let me move that over there. And we've got our drills with an inventory sheet. And then let me show you. This is, it goes this way. <laughs> now, 
This is a, I want to say it's a 30 by 30. Is that right? Yes, a 30 by 30. So let's measure. Can you guys recognize her? So it is actually 30. Wow. It is actually a 30 by 30. So that's surprising. Uh, they don't count the number of colors. So let me count that up real quick. Looks like 28 colors. I don't think it says that on this. It is nice and sticky. We do get the DMC codes on the schematic and there's one on both sides. Um, I don't know if you can, I know this is by Gustav Klimt. I don't remember the name of the painting. It's not the kiss. Is it the lady in gold? I, I think that's a different one too, but it's a lady. Now, no idea because it doesn't look like you're going to be able to tell that's a face unless you get pretty far away. I mean, this is again, one of those things where obviously size matters in diamond painting, but it was $4.99 and I could use it with the Summer of the Masters. It feels like a pretty nice canvas. It's poured glue. So let's look at the drills and see what we got. Okay, let me unwrap this. Okay, so again, we have an inventory sheet. Oh, it's 28 colors. If I meant, did I say 28? If I didn't, I miscounted. It says 28 on here. Okay, some instructions if you need them, and then there is a better picture of the image. So, okay. So again, I'm not gonna inventory it right now. We're just gonna look at the drills and see what we get. So we got 28 colors. And let me find the in here. And they're in big bags. Always a plus for me. I love that. Actually, these drills look pretty good. I'm not seeing, oh, there's some dimples. This color doesn't have hardly any dimples, but this one does. So, but the drills look good other than that. So we've got this kind of orangey brown color, a peach, a pale peach, a chocolate brown, a light tan, a brown, a very pale pink, a red, kind of a mustardy color, and then this kind of, again, mustardy gold that I'm assuming is part of the background color. What number is this? 782. Let me look and see what symbol. Yeah, it's in number seven is the symbol, so it's in a lot of this. So there's the background color. Then we've got another brown, kind of a dark blush pink, a golden yellow, slightly brighter golden yellow, a dark peach, a gray, like an olive green, another kind of brownish orange. Is that black or, yeah, that's black and then another kind of pale pink. And then the rest of the drills are this kind of very dark pink, almost a coral, a very dark brown, a yellow, a more golden yellow, and then three different shades of brown. So there's this brown and then that shade lighter and then that shade a bit lighter and then just a little bit of white. So, so there are the colors for the Klimt. And yeah, I was just kind of excited to see, like I said, I, when I bought these, I didn't even know that they were going to be doing summer with the masters again. So the fact that they are doing it again is exciting. I had a lot of fun doing it last summer. So I'm excited to see kind of what it's gonna be like this year. I'm trying to figure out how to fold these back in here. Cause they never go back the way that they're supposed to, do they? I always have trouble figuring out how they're supposed to go back in. I think that's the way they go. Okay, and oh, if I didn't mention it, I think I did, but if I didn't, this one was 
So yeah, I got all of these canvases for pretty inexpensively. And again, like I said, I will put links to all of these in the description below. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with these. Oh, I forgot to put this back in with it. I'll just, I'll just wrap it around here. I think that's the way it was anyway. Wrap it around the drills. Okay. So just to recap, we've got the Klimt. We've got the American and Canadian flags. We've got, I'm trying to move some of these boxes out of the way here. We've got the Mona Lisa along with the other Da Vinci. I don't know what the name of that one is, but another Da Vinci. So I've got three possible Summer with the Masters canvases and then this super cute fox. So yeah, guys, I'm so excited to see uh, what I can do with these. I'm trying to arrange them so you can see a little bit of everything. So the Klimt, the Fox, the two Da Vinci's, and then the flags back there. So yeah. Uh, and for, let me quickly add that up in my head, five, five, 10, 20, $26. I have five, five diamond paintings that I can do. Um, and yeah, I mean, I will say probably the Klimt is not going to turn out looking very good, but I'm excited for the Fox and the flags. I think those will turn out well. And I think the two Da Vinci's will actually be okay, even though they're kind of small. Um, it's kind of funny. I was just talking to my son about this. He, he gets on the internet and he falls down all kinds of rabbit holes. And he was talking to me about the Louvre and how he didn't know that part of it was underground. And then he was, you know, he apparently had seen a picture of where the Mona Lisa is displayed. And it's this kind of small painting and it's on this huge wall because it's the only thing on the wall. Um, I wouldn't know. I've never been to the Louvre, but, um, Anyway, so we were talking about it. So I thought it was just kind of funny that this is the one I picked to open today. But so I, I think both of the Da Vinci's will be cool. And even if that this one doesn't, the Klimt doesn't turn out great, it can't be any worse than the Mooka one that I did last year for the Summer with the Masters. The Kandinsky that I did turned out great. It's hanging on my wall. The, the Mooka one that I did, I'm not fond of, but I still have my Mooka from Diamond Painting Shop. So maybe that will be the event that I open that one for. So yeah, there you go, guys. There is my little Amazon diamond painting haul. And uh, as always, I will put the links in the description below. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.